All right. Welcome back to our journey today. Today is January 3rd, 2023. Kind of a gloomy morning today and throughout the afternoon until tomorrow. Um, expecting some pretty heavy rain, localized flooding, and um, a chance for severe thunderstorms. So with that, I'm going right now to an appointment um, on the other side of town. So it's we'll be going through Hickson over to Lee Highway. Um, Lee Highway is actually the furthest highway on 153, uh, the closest one to I-75. Um, and then I will be getting off on Lee Highway from there. So I'm hoping to do a couple more videos today. We'll see how it goes with the rain. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see a little bit. Uh, if not, I may not even upload it. So, uh, but anyway, so come along for the journey. We are now on 27, or going to be on 27, and then I'll be getting on 153 going through Hickson. Uh, and again, that's Hickson, Tennessee. So, all right. <clears throat> Never gets old seeing this view up here. Uh, just depends on when you can see it with the fog and stuff, with the mountains, and as you can see, like the clouds over it right now. So I just think that's so awesome seeing that uh, on my way to work, and then on the way from home. During the summertime, it's a lot nicer, but uh, during the winter time, it gets darker sooner. So. To the Chickaman Chickamauga Dam 153 South exit is what I'll be taking, um, and we'll be going south. So. Again, 153 does go right through the middle of Hickson. Um, as you see, there's a six-lane highway, uh, three lanes on each side. Um, 
that I'll, that you'll be navigating as you're going through that area. So, <clears throat> and if I'm not mistaken, this is probably the first real day back to work for everybody after the holidays. But I'm 30 minutes past rush hour, so the traffic shouldn't really be all that bad. Uh, but usually, Hickson is a nightmare. Um, I mean, to go that to go. Uh, whatever it takes from the beginning of Hickson just on the other side of the Chickamauga Dam uh, all the way to 27 uh, it can take almost 30 minutes to a, uh, an hour sometimes to get through that traffic and it's only like five or six miles at the most which is really weird um, but traffic is so like especially on Fridays uh, Friday afternoons, uh, oh my gosh, traffic is a nightmare. Um, Now we're in Hickson, and as you can see, there's three lanes that have merged here. Uh, these three lanes will go all the way to the Hickson Pike, um, and then it turns to two lanes, and then as soon as you get underneath the bridge and onto the other side, it goes back to three three lanes, uh, with the third lane turning onto DuPont Parkway. Uh, so, just figured I'd share that with you. And they got all the main stores too over here in Hickson, Tennessee. We have um, Walmart, Best Buy. Um, they have a mall, Northgate Mall. They have Lowe's. There's a Home Depot. And then all your restaurant too stuff like Chick fil A, uh, Olive Garden, Texas Road, Roadhouse, Logan's, uh, Chili's. Or is it chill? Is it Applebee's? It's Applebee's. I don't know if Chili's is over here. Um, and they're in the process of making some other things too. So, <clears throat> one thing that was weird for me when I when we first moved down here a couple months back is that there's two camera lights, uh, or I should say, I don't know what you guys would call them, but uh. They're stoplights that have camera. Well, most stoplights have cameras on them, but these are traffic cameras. Uh, so if you do run the light, uh, basically they just mail you a ticket. Uh, there's two on this road. Um, let me see if I can figure out where they're at. Oh, yeah, there's a Target, too, up here. Um, and then the Hicks and Pike alone has, I think, between... I think there's six or seven cameras on that road, uh, traffic cameras, which is really interesting. And I was shocked to see how many cameras were on there. But it makes sense because you're going up a mountain or going up a hill and there's a lot of S-turns and everything. And they want you to maintain your speed. And I'm guessing the reason why they put all these cameras in this area is because uh, people weren't obeying the speed limit and there must have been a lot of wrecks. So... Um, this inter intersection up here that has the red light, uh, the first one, I think this is Gad Street, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 
Yep, Gad Street. So there, there's a camera right there across the street. Uh, that white box to the left, that's a street camera uh, that will take pictures of your license plate. The funny thing is, is you're not required to have a front license plate down here. In Wisconsin, you're required to have both. Uh, Tennessee, uh, and I'm guessing a lot of southern states may be that way too. Um, but here, you're only allowed, to, you're only required to have one, so. They have a Waffle House, Ashley's Furniture, Hobby Lobby, and then over here they've got a little shopping mall too, Electronic Express, which is like a Best Buy. Uh, there's Lowe's. Cookout, Texas Roadhouse. Now this right lane up here will go to the Hickson Pike, and that runs all the way to the north shore of Chattanooga. Um, or if you cross a veteran uh, bridge, I think it's called Veteran Memorial Bridge, uh, that'll run to the south side of, of Chattanooga. Um, and then as we cross this, or go underneath this bridge, the Hickson Pike, uh, we're still on 153, but as we go underneath here, you'll see that the, another lane emerges up here. Now we're in two lanes. That third lane uh, to the right will actually go to DuPont uh, uh, Parkway, um, which is the road I usually take in the morning to go to work. So, and as you can see, there's some stuff built up over here too. And they're building a 7-Eleven up here to the left. And then it's my understanding through the group that I'm involved with on Facebook that they're actually building a Popeyes up here to the right on the corner. Um, this next stoplight up here is also another one that has a traffic camera. Again, these must be some really, at one point in time, they must have been, the reason why there's, there's street cameras here now is because they must have been quite a bit of accidents here. And I have seen accidents here on my way to work where traffic was backed up for quite a bit, uh, especially at this intersection. I think there's been a couple days in a row where there were some pretty bad accidents here. Uh, um, usually during the summertime on a weekend, it gets really hectic over here, so. <clears throat> Some people try to merge at the last minute back over here into this lane uh, before they, because that DuPont Parkway actually runs over to the Amicola Highway, uh, which will be the first highway that we come to once we cross the Chickamauga Dam Bridge. Uh, so. Since we've been here, they've been doing construction on the on these locks uh, here, uh, so that uh, boats can navigate uh, the dam. 